Hello, my name is Dr. Alex Rectors. I'm the Chief of Pediatric Plastic Surgery and Director of Craniofacial Surgery at Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital. Today, I'd like to speak to you about a condition called Peri-Romberg disease or Peri-Romberg syndrome. This is an abnormal condition that typically presents late in childhood or during adolescence and early adulthood. Peri-Romberg syndrome causes progressive loss of the soft tissue on one side of the face. We call it progressive hemifacial atrophy. In severe cases, the condition involves not only the soft tissues of the face, but also can affect the bones. Patients with peri syndrome over a course of several years seem to have a shrinking face. As you can understand, this can be very stressful and very anxiety provoking for patients. We pride ourselves on multidisciplinary care at Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital and recognize that children with Peri-Romberg disease oftentimes are benefited by being seen and treated by our pediatric rheumatology colleagues. We are always happy to see you in consultation to help with the diagnosis of Peri-Romberg disease and to guide care. We typically will obtain imaging such as CT scans and MRIs to determine what tissues of the face have been affected. We refer to pediatric rheumatology for the potential use of medications that may slow or stop the progression of the disease. We typically find that Peri-Romberg disease burns out or stops its progression sometime late in adolescence or in a patient's 20s or 30s. We like to be more proactive in their care and the hope that uses of medicines and surgical treatments may slow or halt the progression so that we can limit the worst effects and the greatest anxiety caused by this condition. There are many reconstructive surgeries that are potentially possible for the treatment of Peri-Romberg disease. In severe cases that affect the bones, corrective jaw surgery or facial implants may be necessary. In the majority of the cases that affect just the soft tissues of the face and have limited to no impact on the bones, soft tissue surgery is best. The goal is to fill the deflated tissues that result from the progression of the disease. In most cases, this is achieved with a process called structural fat grafting. In structural fat grafting, liposuction is carried out in either the abdomen, the belly, or the lower legs where fat can be removed from under the skin through small hidden incisions and then injected into the face. This provides volume and rejuvenation to the wasted face that results from Peri-Romberg disease. Unfortunately, patients don't often respond to a single course of structural fat grafting. In most of our reconstructive fat grafting cases, two to three treatment courses may be necessary. And in severe cases of peri-Romberg disease, more procedures may be necessary. Luckily, structural fat grafting is a minimally invasive approach. You can expect swelling and bruising following your procedure, but the negative effects, recovery time, and return to life and play is much more limited compared to other procedures because of the limited access small incision nature of this operation. We typically can coordinate care around your life and um, typically will perform operations every three to six to 12 months and then we'll embark on a treatment course to achieve the optimal outcome and improvement of appearance. We look forward to meeting you with clinic, in clinic, answering any questions you have about your condition, finishing the workup to make the diagnosis and then proceeding on your reconstructive journey with you. Thank you very much.